Hello friends, it's Cindy Brumbaugh from CindyLeeBDesigns.com, independent stamping up demonstrator. So there is no doubt, I want to make sure that you know this card was cased from Beth Rush. I think it's one of the most genius designs of a stamp card ever. Uh, Beth did hers a little bit different, but I took her main idea and changed it up to create this. I love it. Thank you, Beth Rush, for your inspiration there. So when Beth did this, she took the smoky slate and she sponged on, she masked off the image, and then she sponged on Knight of Navy. I could see my hands covered in navy ink, and so I thought of doing it with cardstock. So I'm gonna show you how simple this card is to make. This was a million dollar set by Cindy Fodor, and I got it autographed by Cindy, thank you. It's Shepherd's Care, and I'm gonna show you how to make this awesome card. And once again, like I said, Beth Rush is the genius in this design. So we're simply going to take a piece of thick white. I We were just discussing this in my classes last week. Thick white is the way to go when you are making a card with a white card base. Even though you layer up Whisper White, the back still is flimsy. I suggest if you don't have any thick whis Whisper White that you do grab it and keep it in your arsenal. So anytime you make a white card, it just makes it luxurious if you use the thick. And actually as demonstrators, when we do swaps, we have to use thick. So we've got a thick one and we've got a half sheet. It's 11 by four and a quarter. I score it at five and a half. So that is our card base. Okay, now the next part is just layering on a smoky slate. Now, when we go to do the smoky slate, I'm just gonna show you how I stamp this. I just took my Shepherd's Care and you know what, I think that I am going to, I could use my little spot. Where's my little spot? I just had that little spot. Oh, there it is, I pushed it out of the way. I'm going to see about using my little spot here and just inking him up. Okay. Oh, this is such a beautiful stamp set. I've really been using my spots a lot lately and I think I've got enough ink on it and make sure I don't have any edges, okay? And then all you have to do is put that down into the bottom corner, just down in the bottom corner, and there is your shepherd, okay? So I did my shepherd holding his little lamb. Think of that as you and I. Think of that shepherd as Jesus, and think of these little lambs as us, the ones that are lost and the ones he came to save. And he does care for us, doesn't he? Thank you, Jesus. So we are going to now put on the next layer. And actually, now that I look at it, this I thought was a little too dark because I was using my juicy big pad, but I actually like it with this, um, with my spot because it's made out of felt. You get these spots, um, you can get these spots in the annual catalog. There's a group of selected brights colors. I don't think navy's in one of them, but they're also in every paper pumpkin comes with a spot. So you can grab them there. Okay, so the next thing you wanna do is just have two simple pieces of navy cardstock. And what you're gonna do is I'm gonna bring my trimmer over here. This square that's gonna go up here in the top left corner is two and a quarter. So I just cut it two and a quarter and I'm going to put it in here. But before I use this, I'm going to clean out my groove with a piece of paper because I want to make sure I have it nice and clean. And I'm just going to go on a diagonal from one corner to the other corner. And I'm gonna start my blade, and I'll tell you what, I always tell you start it in the middle, then I see other demonstrators and they just start it right at the point and they never get scrunched up paper. But I did this earlier and I did that, I thought I'm just gonna be slick and it got scrunched up. So just start it that way and then once you get that, you have two triangles here. The other piece you have, what I did with this one is I made it six and a half inches in height and two inches across. And I did the same thing. I took the corner to the corner on a diagonal, either one, put my blade down, made sure I wasn't at the bottom. And then I just went up and down. And now I have two 
And I thought I cleaned that out so I'd have a nice crisp edge. But if you didn't, you can use, um, you know, if you have the old stamping, sanding blocks, just sand off that little bit here. See that little bit of fuzz there? These are just cheapo nail files here. Okay, now do you notice here we have now two sets of triangles? I'm gonna get this fuzz off of here. Um, I have two sets of triangles, don't I? What does that mean? That means I can make two cards. I can make two cards with this. Okay, so now all we have to do is simply, now this one is taller than the card, right? That's what gives us the fantastic ability to make that little bit come over here and really make it look like it's light shining down. Now you'll notice here, it covers up a little of the image. That's okay. We're not gonna worry about that. Right, Cindy? We're not gonna worry about that because certainly you could put these pieces on first. Maybe I should have tried that. And so we're just gonna make sure when we put this in the corner that we're flush on the bottom and we're not seeing any of the, we're not seeing any of the smoky slate there and we're not seeing any of the smoky slate on the side because that makes it look fantastic. And see how you take this little piece off? There we go, and just snip it off, and you have that piece. Um, I will post Beth's card at the bottom on my blog so you can see how I was inspired by hers. And if you don't wanna use cardstock, you could just, like I said, she just masked off the area she wanted. And she, now this, like I said, you wanna make sure that you're not seeing any smoky slate. And sometimes you have to pull it away from you to see. And like, okay, so there we have, now I'm gonna get a little of this paper out of there. Okay, so now look how fun that is. Fun, that's a great word to use, huh? Look how great that looks. Okay, now, and you know what, it looks okay that it's off a little bit. I'm gonna use this star. As you can see on this red rubber, it had a lot of overhang on it, so I actually trimmed it down some. But I'm using my Stampin' Spot again, because this is one of those distinctive stamps that has the variations in the image. And it really works well if you don't have a lot of goop in there. Now, I put it on one of my blocks that has lines on it so I could see that it, that I'm stamping it straight. And I'm gonna put it right at the top, hold it down, one, two, three. There we go, we've got the star there. Now we're going to go ahead and put that onto our card. How simple is that? Get a little glue here. Actually, I'm gonna be careful in case my ink isn't, isn't completely dry yet. And put some glue on the back of this, right around the corners, a little bit across there. We're going to mount this on our white. Gonna get a nice 1 8 inch border the whole way around. These would make the easiest, easiest uh, Christmas cards. And then I used my Something Fancy dies and I put Peace on Earth in white. And isn't that fun that the white is there because, using up my edges here, because it pulls you back into why you have that white card base, okay? And then you're just gonna slip that right about the middle of the card, right in the little, right. Oh, you wanna make sure that you have some blue on that side. Oh, you don't wanna hit it on the image yet though either. So let's see, I think that looks good. Now, you're wondering how I got a little bit more pizzazz on here. Now look at the star and look at this. Beth had used a watercolor pencil white to do hers and I had these really great Jelly Roll 10, Jelly Roll 10 white gel pens that I found to be the best, oh gosh, I use those Uniball Siglo ones and they just, and I'm just going right along some of the edges here on 
our shepherd and just adding some reflection. Just thinking where might some of the light be coming down? And a little bit down here, a little here, and a little bit, I'm gonna do the sheet, yeah, I can do the sheet now. A little on his little snout, a little on his head, a little on his back, a little on his neck, Okay, and then on the star, on this one I kind of played around with a little bit. I think what I'm gonna do on the star this time is I'm just gonna do the, I think I might just do that too. Try not to be too crazy about that because I can get crazy about things. So you've got some white on there. Actually, it does look kind of cool having it on some of the, the top ones, huh? Um, maybe I will bring some down here so you see a little bit more there. And maybe here. Okay, that just gives you a little more white to see up there. And then I thought what would be a great embellishment for this is these basic gray and smoky slate pearls. Are they calling them pearls? Yes, they are, because they are pearls. And then I simply took one of the smoky slate. But notice when you use the basic gray, it actually kind of combines these two colors together, the dark and the light. So let's go ahead and stick. Do I want to put, no, I, I'm, I think I may just, I had my take your picture. Here we go. Now, do I want to put the dark one on there? Yes, let's use a dark one for this one. Okay, here we go. Let's see, I'm gonna put the dark gray. That's the basic gray. Even though we're using smoky slate, as you can see, there is a difference, a little difference in color. You can see on this one, you have the smoky slate. It's a little brighter, but this one is very pretty too. So this was a perfect way to use those basic gray, smoky slate and basic gray pearls and there are a ton in there there's 160 in there and couldn't you just see making this as your christmas card oh amazing so on the inside of this one i used wonderful counselor prince of peace mighty god everlasting father my daughter and my son in their younger years now they're 37 and 32 and they were in plays that uh at christmas time that sang these songs so every time i hear that you know wonderful counts and i can just hear the play in my mind i love it i almost sang it for you and then i thought oh i don't <laughs> want to ruin it for you um so anyway we're going to put on another sentiment in here that i liked now notice that i'm going to pop my my card up there they have a beautiful sentiment in the set Praying that you will fill the Good Shepherd's care in this season and throughout the coming year. So this is a beautiful sentiment to use for Christmas, but he heals up the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Peace on earth. Those can be used all year round. You could put this as just a card that you're sending to a get well card and that he heals up the broken heart and binds up their wound. That's a perfect get well card. So, but I'm going to use this now. My other block as you noticed as I said it had lines on it I don't have a lot of them with me right now there are most of them are in Pittsburgh but I just put a piece of tape across my block and that gives me a horizon line and even if that horizon line is crooked when I put this on if even if it's crooked if I line up my words to whatever line that is when I go to stamp even if this was crooked I make it straight so we're going to use that for the sentiment on here now here we go making sure I'm not getting any edges, but making sure I'm getting the whole, all the words. And I especially love now stamping on my tippy toes, making sure, hoping that this is straight. There we go, holding it down. There we go. There is a beautiful image in there that is just that scene and Bethlehem. So I am going to just pop that on the top 
Now I don't have this on something straight, so I'm just assuming I'm straight. So we could just put it right up here. Now, let me see. Okay, so doing it straight, because I don't have this one. There we go. It's almost straight. I think I would mount this a little bit, turn it a little bit, but you've got a beautiful sentiment in there. Is that super simple card to make, but what a wow card that would be for Christmas cards. So you're just you, taking two Knight of Navy, and you're cutting a two and a quarter. Look at that, that was a two and a quarter inch square cut in half diagonally and you can make two cards out of it. And this one was a two inch by six and a half and you cut it on the diagonal and then it gives you that little break here because if this was like this, it doesn't give you that shining effect of it shining down. And so there is a simple, Clean and simple Christmas card, but what a wow. Adding in this um, jelly roll, jelly roll, gel pen, jelly roll 10. Got that on um, Amazon. So there you go. Two beautiful ways to do the inside with the stamp sets there. Oh, I might add, the reason why these stars are in here is because I got a gr uh, big blob here and I had to cover it up. And then, then wouldn't you know when I did this one up here to even out the, the, the image, it didn't come out perfectly. But that's okay because you know what just remember we're not perfect but the good shepherd is perfect the good shepherd is perfect and that's why he can take care of us and why he can hold us why we can give our life to him and before our heavenly father we are blameless and we are perfect in his eyes because our good shepherd is holding us. He took our sins away and let's just remember that during this Christmas season that he was brought to this earth to do something that nobody could do for us. We couldn't work our way there. We couldn't do things perfectly, but he can, and he loves you, and he loves me, and he wants us to be eternally with he, himself and our Father. And may we just totally feel his presence during this holiday season. God bless you, my friends. Thanks for stopping by.